Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we continued adventuring throughout the depths underneath Hyrule, and we got killed. It seemed we're biting off more than we can chew because we are in an area probably better suited to someone a little bit further along in the game. But we're not going to let that deter us, and we're going to go even further into the depths. I've actually marked another route out here, which is where we're going to head to today. But I'm not exactly going to go that direction first. I noticed this little building block section over here, and that's where I'm going to head. And uh, presumably fight some enemies as well. But we'll deal with those all in good time, right? Can we hit Mothra here? We did, I think. I don't know. Our, our thing broke, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna run. Oh, you see me now. Okay. Well, that. No, no, no. Do not gloomify me, please. Do they still see me? They do indeed. They're throwing rocks. Very good. Uh, what do we have here? What are these? Are these explosives? They, they look like bombs. I think they are explosives. We've got some fans. Um, and actually nothing else. We'll take a moment to, to, to do some mining. Because we've been using plenty of Zonite stuff. <laughs> plenty of charges. Ooh, pose! Delicious. I'm excited to go redeem these in a little bit. We've got over 200 of them, so we may not be able to get the uh, the Dark Link tunic, which is what I have my eyes on, but we'll be able to get something. So if we take these and do that. What's happening? It is flashing. Wow. What is happening? We just got blown up. Okay, so these are projectiles. Uh, they're rockets, and when you strap them to your shield, I learned a few episodes back that you can do like a super sweet like jump with them. But just a minute ago, you know, before I was blown up by these things, it looked like they were firing off in the direction of the enemies, or at least, you know, in some direction. So maybe we can attach them to this plane here, this wing, and then, you know, do a little bit of... A little bit of friendly banter with the locals. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I hope that's going to be the case. We'll see. Maybe they'll just blow up on the wing, and then I'll be SOL. Uh, <laughs> all right, the which way? We're making a freedom fighter today. I'm going to add these fans, and then we'll be ready to uh, do the little hop, skip, and jump and take off. All righty. Let's launch this baby. Or at least, ideally... Here we go. Oh, God. That didn't work at all how I expected it to. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were going to do some, some laser beams. The rockets are gone. Whatever they were meant to do. I don't even have a bow. This was ill-advised. But then again, what else is new, right? This is an LP's LP. Oh, God. No. No, no, no. This is an LP's LP. So, you know, naturally, ill-advised. Is just how we do things around here. Ooh, we've got some. Hold the phone. Let's get up there. Let's let's get up here. Uh, well, actually, maybe we shouldn't. He's gonna blow those up, aren't you? Let's see here. Maybe we can uh, throw this down. Eat some some explosions, please. Thank you. Go down there. Party with your friends. Very good. And now you, keen little, you know, rock thrower, eat some arrows. And you, you know what? Maybe we should get rid of you. Because you are doing a bit too much for me. Are you dead? You are dead. Wow, good shot. That was, a, it's a blue bow cobbling, so I thought it would be a little bit tougher than that. You're also blue. You're all blue. But a bee die. All right, Eiffel 65 would be proud. They're all taken care of now, which is great. That was not necessarily as tough as I made it seem like it was, but it was still pretty stressful. It's still pretty stressful. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, we're kind of in uh, in tougher territory than the game wants us to be. The game wanted us to go northwest into Hebra, and I said, nope, I'm going southwest. <laughs> I want to go see the Gerudo. All right, I want to go to the desert. I'm looking for sunny skies and warmth. I don't want to go to the mountain. But I will go to the mountain eventually. Just not yet. Just not yet. And it'll probably be a heck of a lot easier than this. 
because one, well, it'll be, you know, the direction the game wanted us to go, but two, it, it's also not underground. I don't even actually know that I'm going to get to, like, the Drudo Desert this way, because if you look at the map here, oops, we are underneath it, at least in some capacity. It kind of stretches out pretty far. Yeah. I don't know. We're kind of underneath the desert, not completely. And there is our our marker. Wait, hold up. Is that the marker we, we set? I could have sworn that we went a different direction. Where's the light route? The light route's right there. I thought I was looking this way. I don't know. I'm all turned around, but it looks like we have a good to go now. And I saw some pose just off this direction as well, so we can help them out. Hello, friends. My wayward souls. Oh, and a whole freaking herd of them. And some puff shrooms. Always good to get a good couple puffs in before your adventure. So, you know, you can confuse your enemies if they, if they need to be confused. Or you can just eat the mushroom, too. I think it'll replace, like, a half heart. So, either which way. Uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? That's frocks. Well, hot dog. I avoided frocks last episode, but it looks like... That's no longer going to be the case. As you might imagine, I am seeing fit to do a quick save-a-doodle prior to investigating this behemoth. It looks like a giant Dodongo. You got logs in your mouth, buddy, or are you just happy to see me? Uh-oh. Uh, I'm gonna say no to that. Thank you very much. And I wonder... Uh, ooh, what, what's happening here? He looked like he about to go Skyborn. <laughs> Frox has hops! Golly gee williker! All right, Frox. What if we feed you? You're gonna do some big gust here, but I have, like, snacks for you, I think. At the very least, I have a bomb. You gonna open your mouth here? You gonna... All right, so he's he's doing the big inhale. What if we, instead of running away from him... What if we feed him a bomb? Huh? Delicious, isn't it? How does that feel? It didn't actually do all that much damage at all. Okay, and it looks like he got a... He got a big crystal things up here, just like a talus. Okay, so let's do all the damage we possibly can. Looks like we're gonna need bombs in order to kill this guy at all. Oh, my giblets. Uh, we are out of that hammer. Do we have any other one? We do have an eight. Would the Moblin Smasher be better, though? It was indeed. He sent us Skyborn. Look at that. That was very helpful of you, buddy. Uh, no. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna jump? No. You're gonna get on the ground, and I'm gonna do some hammer. Okay. Okay, <laughs> not, not if I have anything to say about it, buddy. You gonna jump or you gonna breathe? Woo wee, you a tough buddy. What if we hit you in the eyeball? Oh, what if you get another bomb in your mouth? Woo, Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> and then we'll be sure to climb up on you real quick like. Okay, maybe a little bit less quickly than I wanted. It seemed that we got some recoil, some peripheral damage from that explosion. Goodness gracious, we broke one of them. We broke two of them. We did something crazy there. Break this one. All right, you hungry? Yeah, you hungry? What if we feed you this? Yeah. I didn't think that was what you liked very much at all, huh? Beautiful. Now we can hop up here. He's about half dead which is great. This is very effective, it would seem. There's one more. Two more, actually, two more, excuse me. Run, 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 run. We're out of bombs, too, so I'm not actually certain how we're gonna do this. Hopefully there's some bomb rocks lying around. Oh, out of stamina, out of stamina, out of stamina. Where you at, buddy? Nowhere, I, I wanted to use a send there, but unfortunately there is no such luck. Tons of zonite everywhere, which is, you know, great for that. 
Uh, okay. Strategy here. We're gonna have to figure out another weakness. Let's double check our inventory real quick. Is there anything that might be considered explosive? I know the Keese Eyeball grants a homing quality. Maybe that would make some sense. We can home in on like his eyeball. Let's see here. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of arrows either. Electric Keese Eyeball does homing as well, but it's electric. That worked. Electric to the eye. Get up there, dude. Come on, Link. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We were kind of far away because I was nervous about that working at all. But we're doing all right. There's one. There's... Get it! Come on, buddy! There we go! He is defeated, Frox! I'd love to serve you some bagels and locks because you suck rocks. Uh, I got a Frox Fang, a giant ore crunching Fox Fang. Frox, not a Fox Fang. I don't know of any foxes that crunch ore. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack. It says moderately. 14 is the attack power it grants you. And the fingernail gives you plus 10. Crazy. Those are pretty freaking strong. And we get a large crystallized charge, which is also super helpful. You know, I was kind of hoping there'd be a chest or some sort of weapon, considering what we went through for that, but pretty sweet. All in all, that's a nice, uh, I guess it's a, a boss, a mid-boss, depends on what you want to call it. Anything to me that gets a freaking health bar on screen is a boss. All right, we don't even need to dif differentiate between mid-tier bosses and upper-tier bosses. That's a boss for all intents and purposes. And I feel like a boss for having defeated it. Really, I couldn't have done it without you, though. So thank you for cheering me on a long time. Now, let's illuminate the way. We're pretty close now to this light route. Uh, where are my, my things at? I passed them, didn't I? Goodness gracious. I gotta get used to this still, to where everything's at. The Bright Bloom seeds are almost all the way to the right. And we got a big sea of gloom here. But there's a crack in it, which is nice. One Poe over there, not necessarily worth going out of our way for. Illuminate. Uh, ooh, hello, friends. Now, I'm not going to be using the Moblin Smasher on you guys. You eating my plant? You eating my plant? Get out of here. How dare you eat my plant? That's what I say to you, poopy. All right, you plant eaters. Get out of my plant. I'm a gardener and I'm pissed off. All right, I got a green thumb. I got a green freaking toenail. I'm going to stick it in your face. Ooh, lots of pose down there, but what is that? Oh, that's one more of those, like, shade dudes. It looks like he's holding a uh, like a spear of some sort. Not going to go down there. Not looking for uh, for spears. Let's get some light that direction. Okay. So we've got to find a way through all of this gloom. Uh, this looks like it'll do it to me. Whee! We need to go up. We need to get up there. And what? It's a fire keys. Nothing too terribly crazy. Nope. No, no. Oh, it took my heart. It's fine. We're pretty close to this thing, I think. <laughs> oh, we have... We have a chasm. Uh, actually, this is a good opportunity for a big one. IMO. Oh. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> well, then, it would seem that we're on the precipice of a giant crevasse. And at least we got a bomb flower, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe we're not... Uh, we're running out of arrows. I need to stop using these bright bloom seeds this way. We probably should just go throwing them. So what, you throw one like this? Yeah. yeah. Shot put that thing, Link. Very good. So we need to get up. We need to get up, up. I don't... Maybe there's like a ramp or something? Or maybe if we come back this way a little bit. Yeah, this is... What is that? That's a light route that is not like illuminated? Let me mark that. Wait, what? No, that's the light route we were just at. Okay, get rid of that. It looks like it's not, like, a thing. Like, it looks all grayed out. You see what I'm saying? But apparently that's not the truth. I'm gonna yeah. bloom over here. Uh, man. 
No, that does not look scalable to me. Not with my present lack of stamina. That's like the best we can do, though. Look how high up that thing is. Ooh, bomb flower. Thank you. Let's plant some more seeds here. And then I guess we're going to use another grouping of ore. We're going to auto-build us another plane. Fan plane. So this one, this one worked better, but it used more materials. Can we like just grab a specific item or do we have to build, we have to build the whole thing. Okay. We're gonna use this one. That's gonna be cheaper than building the one with the friggin' five rockets on it or whatever. But I don't, hmm. Whatever, it'll work, right? It's gonna be fine. Uh, let us use Ultra Hand, get you up in Skyborn. Drop you on down. Now we recall. Total recall! Or at least 50% recall. And go! Go, go, go! Oh! That didn't work at all, did it now? Okay, it kind of worked. Let's give it some juice. <laughs> oh, we barely got out of there. We are not doing too hot in the way of charges, man. But then again, I am kind of using them willy nilly. Maybe not willy nilly. Maybe like silly lily or something like that. Something a little bit better than willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a reasonable William, I'd say. I'm only using them when I absolutely need to. And I friggin' I need to. Uh, yeah. Oh God. Um, hold hold the phone. Let's let's throw a seed over here. Cool. That worked about as well as it possibly could have. We could probably ascend right here too. Please. <laughs> Please. Please let me get up there. I don't know that I have the stamina to do this any other way. That looks like that should be ascendable. Mm. Mm. But no. Okay, well, we're going to just have to do it the old-fashioned way with our friggin' mitts. Uh, we are not going to be able to climb upside down, though, so we got to do it, like, right here. And we are so close to the bright bloom. It's like uh, the light root. It's like right there. Come on, buddy. And I believe we do have, yeah, we've got six things there that can replenish stamina. And of course, I would like to not use them all on this one wall, but we have them for a reason, mind you. And if we absolutely need to, that's going to be the case. But it looks like, you know that we might be all right. Uh, the way up was rather dark and ominous and uncertain whether or not we'd actually be able to make it but now that we're getting closer to what i believe is the top i think we might not even need to use any stamina potions the green kool-aid will continue to live on in link's back pocket fermenting and getting all the more delicious maybe is this the top it looks like it i can't tell it's so hazy uh are we at the Okay, I do not have enough confidence for this. It's to use an elixir. No, yeah, I can I can see, like, the horizon now. But that should be enough for us to get up here, right? <laughs> we won't have to start delving into the ones that replenish both stamina and hearts. Maybe. Oh, God, gosh, darn it. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Oh, there's another shade holding a weapon. He's holding like a, a claymore, like a greatsword or something. Some fire keys in the distance, and it's dark. I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, it's cool and all, but I'd, I'd rather like to see. Thank you. So where's this bright... Is it still up higher? It's not down there. Man. This is friggin' sweet! <laughs> I love this, man. This game is so huge. Like, I have spent like the last week in the depths of Hyrule, all right? Link's friggin' skin tone is like that of a piece of paper. He hasn't seen the sun in God knows how long. But there's so much still to explore down here and so much more up top. Chemical root, light root, and don't even get me started on the sky. We've been the one friggin' island up there. In case you didn't know already, this is going to be a long and very thorough Let's Play. <laughs> oh my goodness, I... I love all the games that I play on this channel, right? I don't play any games unless I know I'm going to like them. But I don't think I've played a single game that I've been this excited to record for every time I record. But Lightroot Dispelled the Darkness uh, doesn't... 
I'm starting to see that the light roots don't actually give you that much extra visibility, really. Like, we still can't even see down here. I mean, I guess we can, but ooh, what's that? What does they have? Are those my light roots? <laughs> They're probably not my light roots, my bright blooms. They probably are my bright blooms. Goodness knows I've been throwing tons of them about all over the place. All right, where are we headed next? It looks like we're still going southwest because that is just what the doctor ordered. That's what I'm looking for. Now, if we come to these things... I was wondering if they're, like, no, ways to ascend or anything, but no, they're not. Because I still want to see the desert, man. I still want to see the desert, and it'd be mighty convenient if, you know, while we're running around underneath the desert, if we could ascend up into it. Holy cow. Oh, is that a, a, a book? Hob? That's a Lionel. That's a friggin' Lionel. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, he hello there, sir. You're looking very hairy today, and I find that actually kind of scary, to be honest with you. In fact, uh, it's out of the ordinary for me to come down there because you're gonna hit me, but hopefully when you do, I'll be able to parry. Let's see. Probably not with the hammer, huh? <laughs> Probably not with the hammer. We have that shield equipped. And what's our best sort of weapon we could do with the one-handed? I think it's the Blue Boca Reaper. Uh, no. Oh, he got armor. He got armor and he got the strong. Okay. All right, so we need to eliminate this dude's armor. Thankfully, we picked up a bomb rock or bomb flower not too long ago. Where you at, Bombie Boy? I need your services right now, please. I very much would like to explode this dude's armor and my own body as a result. Okay, maybe we use the bomb flower, but better. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, flurry rush. I don't know that it's actually going to do anything. Is it doing... Anything at all? <laughs> we may be out of our gourd here. Jiminy Christmas. What do we have? I used both the bombs that I had. And it didn't actually get rid of his goodness. Uh, hmm. I don't, I don't rightly know, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I think we might have to leave. Uh, the puff shroom? No. Maybe we could use something like electric. Oh, God. Yeah, let's put a fan on it. Uh, run! 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 Do not burn alive! Let's eat some food, too. That sounds good to me. We need to replenish that. Yep. And now we eat some greens. And now we get out... Not the fan, but what else? We got anything here? No, it'd be nice if we had, like, a rocket. Uh, electric? Let's do the homing one. That didn't seem to do much. Electric key swing. That didn't do much either. Hoo-wee, he's standing over our body. Taunting me. I don't like this very much. We might have to use the hammer, now that I think about it. Because this is we need to break his, like, stony armor. Okay. Flurry rush. That's working. There we go. Come on. Flurry rush. All right, buddy. Break the rock. So I thought it was just like armor. Little did I know. It was freaking stones. Oh, oh. You know, that's fine. Yep, yep. Yep, you, you've been eating the Taco Bell. I can tell you got the, the big spicy, spicy food. No, thanks. No, thanks. No! We came so far. The armor is off. Get out of here. All right, let's do some damage with the Blue Boko Reaper while we can. Come on, buddy. Now get away because he's undoubtedly going to be right pissed off that we've made him naked. And he is. He's got the spicy breath. No thanks. Okay. I can do this. <laughs> it's taken a heap of effort thus far. Running out of food here. Um, 
Only got 10 seconds of attack boost, too, so we're done with that, it would seem. Hello, buddy. Welcome back. No. The Flurry Rush is, like, of the m utmost importance, really. Uh, because the only way that we can actually do any significant amount of damage is with the Flurry Rush. Granted, we can hit him in between his strokes there, but it doesn't really do a whole lot. Um... What, what you doing, buddy? What you doing, man? We were we were having a good little fight here, and now you... There we... No, I thought we had it. We need to get that Flurry Rush. But we can do this, gosh darn it. Um... Well, shoot. <laughs> uh, maybe I should take advantage of this and blow you off here, huh? Maybe another one, perhaps. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if you guys could notice, but I have like two weapons left. It's gonna be real friggin' close in terms of me being able to actually finish this battle. Don't you do it, that's the big one. All right, I'm starting to key in on this dude. I've died to him enough times that I kinda know his techniques. I certainly have the, uh, the flurry rush thing timed up pretty well, but that's just not necessarily enough to do it. Because obviously this dude is way stronger than we are, and I'm doing this entirely earlier than I was meant to. Uh, I don't know, like, when I'm supposed to do this, but it certainly ain't now. <laughs> it certainly ain't now, gosh darn it. Uh, this is my last one-handed weapon. Uh, if this pops off, if it breaks in half, I'm going to have to use a two-handed weapon, and I do not feel comfortable with that. There you go. Those maneuvers are easier for me to time up the dodge with. And the spicy Gordita Crunch Breath. Blow the friggin' chili sauce at me. I hate this stuff. This Don't burn me alive, buddy! That's not very welcome here. He's about... I mean, he's closer than he was. We're getting some good flurry rush timings. Really, that's the only saving grace here. And it's tough because you gotta, like, taunt him into it. There's the flurry rush. We gotta time that up just like so. You can, you know, perish in that time frame. You're gonna... We've already lost one hammer. But this one's about to go, too. Come on, buddy. Give me that flurry rush. Woo. All righty, buddy. We are getting on. We are smiting this, buddy. Come on, buddy. Do your attack in the way that I can flurry rush. There we are. Come on, man. We are so freaking close here. Just like five or six more hits. I mean, flurry rushes, maybe. Probably like five or six dozen more hits all together. Shoo-bazinga. Uh, chili pepper time. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's uh, every Lionel's favorite band, wouldn't you know? Uh, that is a little bit too red hot for me. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. Thank you. Got no, uh, no stamina now. Ooh-wee! Getting close here, buddy. I don't very much like it. Very close. Come on, man. Why don't you just chill out for a second? Not like that. Not like that. Oh, we're doing okay food-wise. We've only got 23 seconds of the of the of the special attack. Uh, somehow that counted as a flurry rush. I feel like I was way early, but I'll take it because I think we just finally freaking did it. We killed a Lionel with only four hearts. I've only been off of the uh, the tutorial part of this game for like 20 minutes. Somehow found myself in this cavern. Getting gear that's entirely too good for me. A Mighty Lionel Shield, 44. Blue-maned Lionel Mace Horn with 29 Fuse Attack. Goodness gracious. Arrows, Lionel Guts. What else? There's got to be more. A weapon here. A Lionel Hoof, 10 Fuse Power. Mighty Lionel Bow, 20 times 3. Previously, I'm working with like 4s and stuff. And a Blue-maned Lionel Saber Horn which will be plus 33 attack power, and that's going to be exceptionally helpful if I attach it to this soldier broadsword. But my goodness gracious, did that take a toll on my food reserves, on my item reserves, and on my mental well-being, because that took a long freaking time. But it was well worth it. That said, I'm going to have to call it here. Short episode today but I, I feel like I accomplished a lot by killing that guy. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. 
with that said, I'll see you tomorrow.